Over the past couple of weeks, we've been talking a lot about the promise shown by this new borehole here at a new location in Sweetville in St. George. It's projected to pump an additional 500,000 gallons of water per day into the Castle Grant system to provide relief for scores of householders and businesses in St. Joseph and other affected areas in St. Andrew, St. Thomas and St. John. Now there have been some setbacks in the last few days due to the passage of what was Tropical Storm Matthew. However, the man in charge of operations and maintenance at the Barbados Water Authority says within two weeks time, things should be in place to get water from here into the very critical Castle Grant system. We have, we have started to set our, um, our foundation for the um, container that will hold our switch gear. The container will hold the switch gear to drive the pumps and the, the, the pump will, well sorry, the, well one pump will be in the borehole and the other pump will be in the container. I will use the other pump will be a booster. That's the one that's going to boost two into the system into uh, Castle Grant. So what? So basically, when we when we set when we set up this system, we're gonna set it on the pillars with the container, right? And then we can discharge into the in the mains. Once we have consistency of supply, this water will travel as far um, either by pumping or gravity, depending on how the demand is at that point in time. And it was it will easily supply them. Sometimes I like to no one like to put a timeline on things because of all the um, incidences that we've been having so far. We've been having a lot of incidences like since Matthew, we lost equipment like on the West Coast. But that is, and when we've lost the equipment, we tried to do some shuffling to try to improve the supply to the area. And yet, um, then we have failure with that equipment and or moving the equipment. So some of the, some of the things have not been going as planned and our spirits have been dwindling too. So we have been really put, so the company is really put to the test. Put to the test indeed, as now the BWA has been called on to respond to a new wave of outages in the north of Barbados. Just recently, last week, we, have, we had problems with WIM. WIM is, WIM is increasing the salinity. And we tried to, we know we had to cut production in half. So we had to take one of the pumps carry to Hammonds, but eventually that pump failed too. <laughs> So we have to try to look for another solution to get another pump to give that additional water from Hamas because right now we can't stress WIM anymore. And WIM, and that, that's a key area to put in water into Warley. And putting, without Warley, Warley has to move rock, water into Rock Hall with supplies, Mount Stepney and Indian Rail. But the BWA engineer is confident that this borehole here will help the authority kill two birds with one stone, providing relief for residents in St. Joseph and other rural communities, as well as for people living in the north of the island. Once we get this system for Castle Grant up and running, remember this water travels as far as into St. Thomas. St. Thomas, St. Andrew and parts St. Joseph, parts of St. John is a very, very big area at the higher elevations. So once we satisfy these areas, then I probably we would reduce the water that we would move from Lancaster through Apes Hill to try to maintain water on top of Highway 2A. Then what we will then the next step, we get the equipment and we try to we try to um, to supply Warley so we could put more water into the Rock Hall areas to give Mount Stepney and Indian Ground via Prospect water. Uh, water and then into the future because right now it is it will be very hard to achieve we have other plans where we will be trying to move water onto highway to where by other means now water tankers have been dispatched to those affected areas and we will continue to update you on developments as the bwa responds to these ongoing situations continue to watch water wednesdays for the latest on the water crisis facing barbados and the response from the BWA. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit the BWA's website. That's www.barbadiswaterauthority.com or you can go to YouTube and type in Water Wednesdays.